I am one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ Self. My personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And I am fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready for today's message. Greetings, beloveds. What a delight it is to meet with you once again. It is really hard to describe the joy that I feel when we gather together in this fashion. For in my timeless state, I am with you always, even when you are unconscious of the connection. But as you become conscious of the connection, there begins then a return of energies from you towards me. This completes the cycle and enhances the energy available to you and to everyone. The sun shines equally upon all beings. But those who hide in the shadows do not receive the sun and do not benefit from its presence. So by you consciously connecting with me at any time and in any place, you are emerging from the shadows and you are making yourself available to receive the incoming energies. And this is very important, beloveds. I have spoken of this in the past, but I would like to reiterate it now. It is very important to be able to consciously receive the love and the light of God. The principal reason for this is that it will greatly speed up your evolution. Everyone is benefiting from the energies that are coming into the planet at this time, whether they are conscious and awake or not. But those who are asleep receive only a very small portion of this light simply because they are not aware of it. And so since they do not know of it, they are not conscious of receiving it. I would liken this to someone drinking a glass of water. If you simply drink a glass of water without knowing of its life-giving properties, then the water simply goes through you doing its work. But you only get a very small portion of the life-giving qualities contained in the work. However, if you take your glass of water and bless it and drink it consciously, knowing that you are receiving into your body the liquid light of God, then its benefits are enormous. So it is important for you to remember this as you go about your day. It is not sufficient to simply know that you are loved by God. Although that is very important indeed to know that and to have that understanding, but it is not enough. 
It is important to feel that love. Feeling the love is your signal that you are consciously receiving the love and the light of God. So just take a moment with me now and feel the love, feel the light that is shining upon you right now. Breathe it into your being. Anchor it within your being. Allow it to fill and transform your being with every breath you take. In this way, you will greatly speed up your ascension process and your spiritual evolution. Each time you disconnect from the energies of the physical plane and reconnect with the energies of the spiritual planes, you are taking a great step in your spiritual advancement. For the ascension process is basically transcending the physical plane by raising the energies of your being which then shifts your perception. You choose for the most part to be focused on physical reality. But it is as you focus on the spiritual reality that you become comfortable in those realms. You begin to experience those realms. And you begin to understand that that is where you truly belong. That that is your next step towards getting home. So this shift from your perspective on your spiritual existence and on your physical existence will take place multiple times throughout the day, sometimes hundreds of thousands of times throughout the day. If you are truly awake, you will find yourself shifting back and forth between these realities. So what I ask you to do is that each time you find yourself focusing more on the lower frequencies to simply shift into the higher frequencies. There are so many easy ways to do this. If you find yourself feeling sad or depressed, simply say, I am happy, I am joyful. Some of you may be able to shift the energy in such a way that you will feel that joy instantly. For some of you who are not quite advanced along the path, it may take much more effort than that to be able to truly shift the energies. But just by being aware that you are engaging in negative energies and taking that first step to shift out of them will bring a new habit into your existence. It will bring the habit of being awake to your lower nature. 
and of making the conscious choice to shift into your higher nature. It will take much practice at doing this, beloveds. So be patient with yourselves. Do not judge yourselves or feel less than in any way because you keep finding yourself back in material, in the material realm. As you stabilize your energies in the spiritual realms, you will then be able to bring that energy back into your physical existence. And this will be such a joyous step for you, beloveds. This is when you will able, be able to simply invoke an emotion and to feel it immediately. This is when you will be able to maintain your peace even when there is great disturbance around you. This is a necessary step for absolutely everyone at some point. You are here not to escape from material reality into another realm. You are here to transform the material reality. But you cannot do that as long as you are stuck in it, as long as that is the only reality that you perceive. Because the transformation occurs with the energies from the higher spiritual realms. It is you who are becoming these purer, more refined energies as you spend more time and energy experiencing those realms and as those pure feelings become stronger within you, more anchored, then you can bring them back into material reality. Then you can be a source of great blessings. Then you can truly begin to live the life that was intended for you. A life of joy, of abundance, of love and wisdom. This will not be given to you on a silver platter, beloveds. That is simply not how it works. It comes through your conscious desire to experience this, from your conscious efforts to have experiences in those realms, and your determination to go beyond the limits of 3D reality. Material reality is full of limitations. Limiting beliefs, limiting experiences. When you get into the higher realms beyond all duality, then there are no more limitations. Then true freedom is attained. So know that these are waiting for you, beloveds, and that it is simply up to you to make the most effort that you can to attain this. And then God's grace responds with all of the rest. You take a few steps towards God and God takes a hundred steps towards you. So it is not just your effort that allows this transformation to occur. 
but it is your effort that opens the door, that unlocks the key, that allows God's limitless energies to come in and transform you, to do their perfect work within you. So I thank you, beloveds, for listening to this video. I thank you for all that you are doing. I love and bless you always. I am Metatron, Lord of the Universe.